So the biggest issues regarding the New Testament that I think I've heard, at least from the Marshall reading, is the authority of the New Testament. And I don't think people would outrightly say that they don't fully believe the New Testament or that they pick and choose things, but I think that's very common among churches today to um, have very topical preaching, and I've experienced churches like this where they'll pick a topic to be relevant to their culture and maybe pick and choose a few verses here and there to make it at least biblical, but really they're taking the verses out of context and not applying scripture the way it should. And so I think that, in a sense, is a objection to the New Testament because, like Marshall talked about, or the author of the chapter in Marshall of the authority of scripture is that they're not viewing God as the true authority and that we should take God's word for what it says and what God wants us to get from it instead of what we can get from it. So that's something, and I think along with that, there's certain issues that get taken out of context that are common, and one that I'm more familiar with that um, because the discipleship school I work at, we've had some students who come from the German Baptist uh, background, and um, they take 1 Corinthians 11, the section on head coverings, literally, and believe that they should still be covering their head and also with clothing. And there's other things about their specific beliefs that they say are in scripture. And they basically look down on other people, even Christians, that don't do that because they think they're doing what's right, especially the older, more traditional forms of German Baptist. And that's something I've been more aware of because we've had students and actually one student we had passed away during our session and um, a bunch of, there's about 500 people and most of the people were German Baptists, but what was really cool is despite those differences that we believe, they are taking that out of context, and we believe that Paul meant head coverings to be for the people at the Corinthian in the Corinthian church for that time, and that's not something applicable now. Despite that, we were able to come together and worship and put aside those differences, so that's something that I've been I've seen a lot of just take it out of context and same with women preaching and there's different issues within the New Testament, but it's really sweet when those differences can be put aside and still worship God because that's why we were all there. And also I think another objection to the New Testament is our culture believing that divorce is okay, especially Christians. And I experienced this. My parents got divorced about three years ago and they still say they're Christians, which really bothers me that they think that that's okay and that they're still saying they're Christians because clearly Jesus preaches many times that divorce is not okay. And he says you're committing adultery if you are getting divorced and or marry a divorced woman. And so it's frustrating to me to see that um, my mom didn't necessarily want to get divorced in the state of Washington. Only one person has, if only one person wants it, they can file and it doesn't matter what the other person says, which I think is wrong as well. But Still, needless to say, I think in this culture, a lot of people justify it and think it's okay, but if they're actually looking at scripture and believing the authority, God is the authority of the New Testament, that should not be the case, because clearly it says that that's wrong. And also another one that I'm not quite sure I've heard a lot of debate on is people saying that God spoke to them this or that, and I think that's a phrase we need to be careful with, because it does talk about the canon being closed, and God spoke all he was going to spoke to his people through prophets and different things in the Bible, and then the canon is closed. So I'm a little unsure of how I feel about that, and I know I have done that myself, have used the phrase, God told me this or God did that. But And I do think God does speak to people still, but I don't know how that works with the canon being closed and all that we need to know coming from the Bible, how that works with God speaking to us today. So that's just another common phrase that I think is overly used, especially things like God told me to broke up, break up with this guy or really silly things that people say God told them. And so I just wonder how that works. But I do think it's in one sense an objection to the New Testament and the whole Bible because you could be saying that in a way of thinking that the canon isn't closed, that God is still speaking to people in ways that... Um, Maybe he isn't, but again, I'm not sure on that. And so if you have any wisdom on that, I would love to hear. Because again, I don't really know how I feel about that, but that's just something common that I've heard. So thank you.